In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a gradient. Now we're actually gonna make a gradient swatch that you can apply to different shapes and elements in your designs. So I've got just a page out here and I'm gonna press the W key just so we can see this in a cleaner preview mode. Now I'm gonna create a rectangle by clicking on the rectangle tool, the shortcut key is M, and then clicking and dragging to make a basic rectangle. I have no fill or stroke on this. You can adjust your fill and stroke as needed. However, we're gonna apply this gradient to the fill. So we're gonna click on the gradient swatch tool, the shortcut key is G, and we can actually just click on our rectangle and it's gonna apply that gradient. The gradient's from black to white. Now we can change a lot of things about this gradient. We can click on the fill in this appearance panel over here. And instead of clicking on one of these swatches, which would just create a solid fill, we actually have a gradient tab right here. And this gradient can apply to the frame or text. In this case, we just have a frame. We can make it linear or radial. And then we can adjust the location and the angle percentage and all that kind of stuff. We can also, with that gradient tool selected, click and drag to apply the gradient from one point to another. So wherever we click is the start and we drag to the end. We can hold shift to lock that into 45 degree increments to make sure the gradient's straight up and down. We can even start it outside of the rectangle and finish it outside of the rectangle up here. So you only get part of the gradient, but basically wherever you click and let go is gonna be the start and finish of your gradient. So let's go back into that appearance panel. Now inside of here, we can actually change the color of the gradient. So we have these two little swatches down here. You can even add more swatches. We'll add one in between just by clicking down here. Now, the way this gradient tool works, we can click on a swatch, adjust the color, and then we can adjust where it blends between the two swatches that are next to each other. Generally, you'll go from one to another, but if you have multiple in here, you can adjust how much it blends or how much influence one color has over another. We can change the next color swatch. Let's go to a light blue, and then we'll change the last one. And we can bring this K value down and maybe bring it up to a yellow. So we've got a bit of a rainbow gradient out here, but you can drag these swatches so that yellow could start right here, and then you can adjust the in-between just like this. So that's how you can adjust all of this. Now, if your gradient is backwards, there's a really easy reverse gradient right there. So we click it, it reverses all the colors. It reverses the direction of the gradient. We can also adjust the angle right here, or like we did before, we can still come out here and click and drag to manually place our gradient. Now, if you wanted to reuse this gradient, what you can actually do is go back to that gradient fill, and we can click on the little hamburger drop-down menu, and we can add it to the swatches. Now, if you also had this selected, you see I have new gradient swatch right here. If you had this selected, you can also click this plus button on your swatches panel, and it's gonna do the exact same thing. Now, if we grab a rectangle tool and make a circle out here like this, we can actually go to our swatches panel and go down to new gradient swatch, and it's gonna apply that gradient here. Now, the angle might be different, so obviously what you could do is go back to that appearance panel and just adjust your angle if you need to, like 90 degrees like that. And I hit tab and it applies. Any new gradients you create, you can add as their swatches right here. You can name them and you can apply them to objects and text in your document. Let's see how it works on some text. So I'm gonna write something out here. We're gonna write uh, the word text. How's that? I'm gonna make it a little bit larger so that we can see it. And of course it needs to be within the frame. There we go. So we have the word text out here. Now, if I want to apply this gradient swatch, I could click it, but it's going to apply to the frame, right? We don't want that. So let's go to the fill. And instead of in the gradient tab frame, we're going to select text. So that's where we're going to switch that. And now what happened is this gradient isn't applied to the text. You see this little apply to carries through each of these. So we actually have to click on that gradient swatch now. Right now we're applying black to the text. So we click gradient swatch and it seemed like it disappeared. But in reality, we still have the gradient applied to the frame. So we want none on the frame. And there you go, the gradient is applied to the text. And we can do all the same things. If we go back to the text, we had that gradient swatch applied, we can move everything around to make sure it fits our text better. That's how you can apply gradients to your objects and your text here in Adobe InDesign.